And last but not least, my boys, T-Grex went, huh? T-Grex went, bruh. Yo, 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 what's going on, my gang, my squad? Bruh. So we're going to take a little break from Code Vein, but rest assured, I still got about two videos prepared, or not prepared, but coming, okay? And I mean, we got we to gotta discuss, bruh. Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Did y'all watch that the other day? Whoo, we. So, uh, yeah, I did actually a live stream of it. We watched the new state of play from Sony, and then we watched the transition into the Monster Hunter live stream and got all that info and whatnot. So, bro, the first thing I gotta say is, yo, who is still playing this, right? I feel a little bit like I've betraying, I've been betraying the game, right? Um, even kind of feel like I've been trending the game ever since it, you know, released because at the time I was in school with my last year, bro, it was hard. But I will say, even with that being said, I put in time. And there's only two games that I managed to play, even though when it was it was at this time period, and that's Persona 5 and Monster Hunter World. Again, I didn't play them nearly as much as I should have wanted to, but I put in time because I liked them that much. And I think about, uh, what was that, a couple months ago, I talked about we need DLC. Within a week or two, they told they showed us Iceborne. So you know, ever since uh, I've been plotting, I'm like, yeah, okay, so cool. Obviously, I'm gonna get back into it for that because it looks lit. Nargakuga. Because before that, we kind of knew Nargakuga was coming. So, bruh, I'm like, I'm ready. To, I mean, I'm about to stream it after this. We're about to get back into the Montana world. So, are y'all doing the same? What's going on? I'm trying. I'm trying to gauge what's going on here. But, bro, let's let's talk about it just a little bit, bro. There is so much coming, and this is what I was saying. I was like, dog, we will pay, right? You guys gave us a lot for free as well. We will pay, bro. Just give us something big. We need an overhaul, and this is it. So, to start things off, the new area, okay? Obviously, Iceborne, snowy area. We knew that. But, I'm trying to think back to the other Monster Hunter games. Obviously, I have GU. I haven't played nearly as much. But, the snow areas are never, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, never just 100% snow. Am I right? You know, I, I don't even believe myself when I say that. I didn't do research, so excuse me, please help me. So I'm just thinking like, with, with that being said, if there is, if it isn't going to be all snow, which would I kind of think so, what are the monsters, right? That actually opens up the possibility for a oh, few more monsters, right? So I think about it, if it's going to be strictly snow, you know? All right, y'all, so please ignore this ignorance of mine. Uh, obviously, any monster can come if Nargakuga is coming. Like, I just totally forgot about this, so I'm sorry. So I did, I tried to do a little bit of a poll on my Twitter. Twitter did not work, because none of y'all followed me, go follow me. But I did it in my community post, and I'm looking at it right now, I got 11 comments. So I asked people, I was like, yo, what is the most hyped for, or most requested monster you guys want? A lot of you guys gave me monsters that don't even reside in the snowy area. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know if y'all are not thinking when you're saying that, or you think that they still have a chance. So I'm asking this now, I'm bringing this to the table. Do you guys think monsters outside of snowy region, you know, whatever, will be added in this game? Because out of all of that, Zenogre was the one that was that came up the most, right? And if I go search Zenogre, that man is Thunder, bro. And I looked up, I was looking at the wiki, and it looks like, yeah, he's in like more, more foresty areas. Now that I like think about that fact, Narga and then Zenogre, Zenogre would fit really well in the ancient forest. Hmm. Because I'm not going to sit here and try to lie. The, I've played Monster Hunter Freedom Unite on the PSP, and I played Monster Hunter World and G Generations Ultimate. That's, that's, the, that's the extent of my Monster Hunter life, I guess. But anyways, you know, that that's one thing that I'm, I want to see what you guys think, right? So with that being said, let me know which monster you want the most, and if you think that non-snowy region monsters will get added in. Next is the Master Rank, bro. I was thinking this before they even told us, that, I mean, no, at the start, they did say we we're going to have a new rank. I was thinking this, I was like, yo, we got arc-tempered monsters. That is like the peak of difficulty in this game, right? We just got AT ner Nerd. So what is Master Rank going to be, right? If you're telling me, bro, that it's going to get... No, it can't get harder than AT. It just can't. It's not possible. You make it any... Ew, AT behemoth. If you make it any harder than that, I don't even want to play it. You know, I um, I, I, I do remember back in my Free Unite days, the high rank stuff was real high rank. Because this high rank we have now, it's a little... You know, it's not exactly. Whereas this master rank is kind of that high rank that we're finally getting. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know... I don't know. We'll see. What, we'll see. We'll see. Right. But I, I am curious your thoughts because, again, I missed such a large portion of the Monster Hunter whenever it left PlayStation and went to Nintendo. Uh, so I, I don't know. Maybe I just need enlightened. And so if we were to talk about these gameplay mechanics, right, I'm trying to think. 
What do you guys think about that, right? Do you, because I know some people are trying to tell me, I think they're crying, talking about, oh, it's going to make it too easy, but everyone has been preaching that ever since the game got announced, revealed, leaked, all that kind of stuff. Everyone's going to be like, oh, you got to make it too easy. I think you got to use ignorant. Come on, relax. Just because they're adding new features to the, to the, to the combat doesn't mean it's going to make it easier. It's for casuals. No, dog. And the way I see it is this master rank. How hard is it going to be? So from there, it makes me think they're adding this to compensate. It's gonna be that hard that we're gonna need these tools to utilize these tools if we want to effectively fight these monsters. So let's take a look at what it is real quick. So we have the options for the slinger tool have been added, including a clutch claw, grapple move, and flinch shot that stuns monsters with the new ability to use the slinger while the main weapon is drawn. That's pretty freaking big. New strategies and opportunities are available for combat. Now listen, if we had that for Behemoth, I think we all would have been way less stressed. But, you know, I think it'll be all right. I don't think it's going to make it too much too easy. I don't think it's going to do anything. I think it's going to be a cool addition. And it's going to compensate, like I said, for this master rank. Yo, so I didn't even peep this in the stream. I don't know if they didn't say it and or I wasn't paying attention fully. But new weapon combos, bro? Oh, well, that is lit. That is lit. But it doesn't stop there. It says each of the 14 weapon types will get new combos and new elements. Offering new depth to map. What do they mean by elements? You know, maybe, maybe new features to the weapons. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I think I saw something with the greatsword. I forget what it was, but I thought that was just shooting a slinger, but I can't remember. Either way, I'm pretty hyped. They also said this in the stream. I forget. I can't remember the full, the actual, you know, wording. I think they were like, it's the same amount of content in the base game for Iceborne because they did have a different, what was the director, I think? Yeah, for Iceborne that started almost immediately after the game got released. I think that's what they said, something like that. I might be a little iffy on the details, but regardless, that's pretty big and exciting. You know, it's very nice to hear that. And obviously, you know, if they add new monsters, that means new gear and things to mix, right? All I know is Nagakuga, uh, that's all I need. <laughs> and last but not least, my boys, T-Grex Wen, huh? T-Grex Wen, bruh. Now, if you remember early in my Monster Hunter World days, I was saying, I need, I need Narga, right? He haunted me. I could not beat him in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite rarity or, or rank eight, bro. I never could pass rank to get to, what is it, R8, nine, I think, or whatever. Maybe it's, a, it's seven to eight. I don't know, whatever. He was a roadblock in my teenage days, bro. I will be fading him solo. I'm gonna get my revenge, bro. I'm gonna get my revenge. But on the other hand, Tigrex was just an overall fun fight, right? Fun fight, he's iconic as hell. And we heard his roar at the end of the stream. So with that being said, that's, a, that's about all I gotta say. Um, yeah, let me know the monsters you wanna see. Do you guys think it's gonna be a straight snow area? I don't know. So yeah, let me know. Other than that, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my socials, bro. Go to the description right now. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace. Uh. Lamp with the tape, I'm a legend in the room. J Squad chillin', now my home is bringing boom. Don't try to play the game without asking about the rules. I keep my cards safe, huh, nigga, what you do? Pop it off easy, I'm not trying to snap your neck. I